Greetings YouTubers, so Kenton here and I desperately need a shave. I've just looked at the webcam and my god I look rough. Anyway, uh, OS Line for the Max is now out. It's finally out after bloody ages of it's out. No it's not. Maybe. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe next week. Mm, maybe tonight. It's finally out. It's currently downloading for the MacBook Pro so can't really use the internet. I thought you know what, I'll whack a video out. Um, I really do need to keep on top of this. It's just like I want to do more unboxing videos than this. I, I like doing this, but I feel like I should be doing more unboxings and shiny. But I don't really have much money at the moment, so it's kind of like juggling the two of them. So in this video, I thought I'd just let you guys know what unboxings I do actually have coming up. I will say now though, it is majority 3A. Without further ado, let's begin because that bar is getting almost finished. And when it does, I fear my computer may crash. Okay, uh, first up, Birthday Bamboss by 3A. I managed to snag one of these. Super excited, this will be my first full size Birthday Bamboss. And my first, first boss or Bamboss or whatever the hell they call them. So, super excited about that. Again, my 3A collection is starting to go from the World War Robot Portable line to the World War Robot line and the Action Cartel and all this mad stuff. So it's one of those things where I got a few 3A cheap things and I'm gradually getting to the point where I'm spending more and more money. Second up, the Pudding Boss, the uh, Action Portable. Sorry, I, I really wanted to get the name right there. Action Portable Pudding Boss. So this is the half-sized version of the Bamboss birthday which is a full size one so that would be good to look at so you can see the comparison between big and tiny interesting um, Pudding Boss has always been my favourite out of them all um, I did want to get the glow in the dark one because I don't own any glow in the dark and that's another s small collection I wanted to get but who knows 3A may do most uh, glow in the dark stuff at some point so fingers crossed third up my favorite toy of this year it's the jdf 1g armstrong the japan defense force i believe that stands for this is the one that they did for charity all the money raised for it went direct to japan and the tsunami and all that terrible stuff um sold out incredibly quickly like five minutes or something apparently there's a really low number of these i doubt it maybe more maybe less don't know if it's true that is my favourite toy out of them. One, because it was for charity. One, it looks awesome. And two, it was the only um, Bamboland drop that I managed to snag without issues. Normally, my internet will go slow or my computer will start crashing out or I fell asleep before I sat here. Comes to about half past one in the morning. It's two o'clock when they drop. I'll fall asleep and wake up at ten past two or half past two. Sometimes I'm lucky though because I can still get in and get what I want. Sometimes I completely forget it. So, and that happened with my Noir de Plume, I think it was. I was in Manchester for the Dunny 2010 launch. I think it was that. I'm not sure, but I know I fell asleep for one and missed it completely. But hey ho. And finally, on Bamberland, the Burgess de Plume. Really excited. This will be the last nom de plume, the last de plume. I always say nom de plume because that's like my favourite one of them all. And I think I did like noir de plume unboxing where I just kept mentioning not, um, nom de plume like an idiot. But Burgas de plume, I got the standard one. Uh, yeah, picture at the side of the screen as you can see. Super looking forward to this. And all that is coming off Bamberland and full unboxing videos for these. This will be using the D5000, my camera. And really good quality videos i have a new desk now so proper decent videos for once instead of wherever i've got room okay so following on from 3a adventure cartel retail exclusives uh jungle vet is the one i've ordered and if you watch the video i did previously on this i said i was getting it uh one six bruce as very kindly let me do it in installment payments which the reason I did that is because I can afford to pay it in full, but I need to pay for band practice and money's tight and all this jazz. And I, I don't want to miss out on it for personal reasons. Since 
I absolutely love it and I also want to get one and do a video on it so he's been kind enough to let me pay in installments which is absolutely awesome one six Bruce is the guy's name uh, go check the website out because he does a lot of hot toys and enter bay which not really my sort of thing if I'm being honest about it but if that's your kind of thing I know there's a lot of people on YouTube that do videos on these apparently he's like the the guy to go to and he's got some fantastic stuff so do check him out okay so finally the Jode Ledbetter Zodiac figures um, I think you saw the video when I I don't even know if I put this up actually who knows but they've been delayed again till the ice age or the end of 2015 who bloody knows but there were some issues with these and they're going to be delayed but I pre-ordered the rabbit and the dragon zodiac figures um, I got these from tenacious toys and yeah really looking forward to getting these if you're interested they're about $15 each which is cheap in my opinion <coughs> strangely I like Joe Ledbetter's work but I don't own any, any of it which I don't know how I've managed to do that so as soon as these were announced and they were affordable I thought why not so super excited about these definitely go check these out you may like them they window displayed which basically means it's not like a blind box you you can decide which ones you want so that's why I've decided to go for the rabbit and the dragon okay just quickly before I go um, something I, I I've completely forgot a uh, toy break the other day they gave away a toy for the first comment and it was a custom buff monster I believe I'm um, yeah I was the first one to comment uh, I've got to contact George or I think I've already contacted George my mind fucking like a sieve today but yeah I think I managed to snag the custom buff monster can't remember who did it I know it was it began with an O like Orion or something so I'm excited because I want a buff monster I want to see what they look like I've seen videos and I've seen people talk about these and uh, so yeah buff monsters a new toy a new toy platform this is what I'm excited about you know like the Joe Ledbetters I, I don't own that kind of platform toy so I'm excited about that I'm excited because it's a buff monster and it's a new platform and it's a custom that from what the video it looks really cool so fingers crossed so guys that's pretty much it for today um, hope this video made sense bit of a ramble if you've got any questions feel free to drop them feel free to subscribe Feel free to like the vid, check out the links below and see you later. Bye.